Let's look at tourism. Today is World Tourism Day, observed every 27th of September, and this year focuses on tourism for inclusive growth. Uina Kaluoka in this report takes a look at the theme as it affects the development of the sector in Nigeria. Hidden high up the Mandara Mountains in Adamawa State is UNESCO World Heritage Site, the beautiful Sukuru landscape. Recently, a group of tourists were at the site to explore its futures. With the visit, the community came alive and everyone was involved, from entertainers, drivers, tour guides, the villagers and many more. This captures the theme of this year's World Tourism Day, tourism for inclusive growth, ensuring that everyone is carried along. With the restarting of tourism, a sector badly hit by COVID-19, it is an opportunity to look beyond tourism statistics and acknowledge that beyond every number, there is a person. When a country decides to develop tourism, it gives majority of the people the opportunity to be part of the society. Nigeria, with vast natural and cultural heritage in boosting tourism, is working towards developing domestic tourism for the benefit of all. One day, we will not be able to sell oil again because the oil has either finished or the people who were selling the oil to will not use oil anymore. Or they will use alternative sources of energy. Tourism will never finish. Tourism will never end. We are looking at, you know, uh, introducing at the National Com uh, Commission for Museums and Monuments different concepts and perspectives to our cultural display. The World Tourism Day, observed every 27th of September, is aimed at fostering awareness of tourism social, cultural, political, and economic contributions towards reaching the sustainable development goals. Oyinaya Kalo Oka, NTN News.